all right so in this video we're going to see how to uh, get the current date using moment.js so I have got a folder here and in my Google Drive and I've got a blank sheet and we go to tools script editor Okay, in the meanwhile, let me just open moment.js website, moment.js. So, uh, what is the problem with uh, date when you're working with Google Sheets? So, uh, basically, when you're working with Google Sheet, you have to write uh, if you want to uh, get hold of the current date there is a method called new date which we are going to see now it's taking a moment to load here no pun intended okay so uh, logger dot log and let's say new date right and I saved it selected my function and I click on run interesting it's taking a long time to load this so uh, as we can see here the date format is uh, different although we can get the different date formats and things like that but when we are building um, sophisticated date algorithms in JavaScript always uh, it's good to use a, uh, a pre-built library like moment.js and especially we're looking for these two functions which is going to give us the date in mm dd y y y y or m d d or whatever the uh, d m m y y y y yes these are the formats so how can we uh, do that so let me just say function get current date and so here uh, what we have to do is we have to use url fetch and we have to fetch the cdn of moment JS. So if I search here CDN, I don't get this. Let me search Moment JS CDN. Right. So uh, we can use this one. I'll copy this. This is the URL we are going to fetch. And dot get content, right? So now, uh, now we are going to be, uh, we can use moment.js after this. But let me just go ahead and write it so that we will evaluate this expression and now the moment JS will be available to us with uh, this keyword moment right which is an instance of moment and from there we can see the documentation talks about moment dot format L so I can just copy this and here I'm going to paste this and let me just put it inside a variable called date or today's date right so uh, I can just return this as today's date and here I can copy this paste it comment the previous line instead of logging new date I am going to log this particular function and now let me see what happens so it's going to ask exter uh, permissions because we are trying to access an external uh, external URL. So for that, the scopes are required is connect to an external service. 
and uh, it is going to ask for that permission and we allow that permission now it is going to run this and it is going to print the today's date in the mmdd yyyy format but if you want to change it to m d d y y y y just very simply i can do this now suppose i want to write this into my uh, google sheet what i can do is spreadsheet app dot get active dot get sheet by name sheet one dot get range one one dot set value and I can directly pass this here and run this function let us see what happens it's going to ask more permissions because now we are trying to access Google sheet so it is going to show us the scopes required are edit create delete all your Google sheet and connect to an external service which is already allowed okay so as we can see here it is writing the date into our Google sheet as well that's a neat way to use moment.js inside your uh, Google Apps script and um, uh, and take take benefit of all the available methods in moment.js explore more on moment.js.com thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video thank you